action. Hello, my faithful audience. Tonight is David's favorite night. It's grilled cheese night. Um, I also want to point out that part of these uh, episodes will be featuring my many aprons. Tonight is Mama Bear apron. Um, all right, so grilled cheese. How do we make them? In order to make them and be David's favorite, there's a few things that have to happen. You use the bread of your choice. For David, nice sourdough bread. Um, for others, it could be a seedy bread or a whole grain bread. Whatever you like, that's what you should use. Uh, one of the key ingredients is mayonnaise with squished, squeezed, pressed, pressed garlic in it. And where does it go? It does not go inside, it goes on top. Instead of butter, you use mayonnaise. This is a secret I learned from my lovely daughter, Kay. So, mayonnaise to taste. And I might just cheat a little bit because my daughter is a little too much. On top. Then, the layering starts. In David's situation, hot sauce lots of hot sauce, even more hot sauce. For me, I put about a tenth of that. <laughs> um, for Xander, I'm going to be adding a Chinese hot sauce, black bean fermented hot sauce. So you can add whatever you enjoy to give it a little spice. And then we start with the cheese. Again, use the cheese that you love. In David's case, it is a mild mozzarella or cheddar rather, mild cheddar, you could, but sometimes I use mozzarella. And you need lots of cheese. Don't skimp on the cheese. Tonight is not diet night. And so I've got the mozzarella, I'm sorry, I've got the <laughs> cheddar. And on top of the cheddar, I'm putting a um, cumin style gouda. And you can see I am putting lots. All right. There we go. And most important, you need tomato. So a layer of tomato. Oops. Very simple, very quick once again. Well, that should do it. And tonight, special treat because it's spring and my garden herbs have sprouted and grown. I am going to add a mix of basil, rosemary, chives, Thyme and cocoa. Um, basil, opal basil. Sorry for the <laughs> pause. <laughs> and ta da! And there we go. Okay, follow me. Well, big surprise. Once again, we're going to use a cast iron pan. I find that. If you use a cast iron pine pan for your grilled cheese, um, you can control, and we have a, as you see, a gas stove, but you can control the heat. And I put it on, turn it on very, very low. You don't need butter because you've got the mayonnaise adding, um, acting as butter. You put your grilled cheese down, and it's quite big, but it'll get a little thinner. You turn on your heat extremely low, just so that it gets the pan warming up, and then I put a lid on it, and then we wait. Cameraman, follow me. We now have our grilled cheeses. Um, once I put them in, what I did is I covered them turn down the heat very, very low, watch them carefully because they can get overcooked, as you can see here. Some people don't mind, some people mind. So these ones, that you can see, have a light touch. And um, so I would say maybe five to ten minutes, depending on your heat. Keep an eagle eye on them. And then you flip them. I love using tongs because it works really well to flip them, as you can see. And uh, once you flip it, cover it again, another 5-10 minutes, just keep an eye on it. 
and um, we are having that tonight with a beautiful mixed salad. Uh, it's a spicy mix with dandelion and all kinds of herbs and a side of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> 